Hi everyone, Steve here from ConferenceSource.net. As you can see behind me today, there is a property that's currently experiencing a labor disruption. If your meeting was taking place here today, would you be ready? So the topic for today is to ensure that you're prepared for a labor disruption and three contracting best practices. So the first thing that is needed is a contract that speaks to the remedies of a labor disruption. Many times this is included as part of the force majeure clause. But the force majeure doesn't really speak to the remedies should something go wrong. Make sure you have language that allows you to make changes or even pull the plug on the event entirely in the event of a service disruption because of a strike. The second thing you want is to ensure that you're not contracting with a hotel that currently does not have a collective agreement in place with its employees. I would also recommend then that if you are contracting further out, ask when the collective agreement that is currently in place runs out. You might ask yourself if you'd be better off contracting with a non-union hotel. I don't know, I'm not sure that's a reasonable fix, you know, by trying to avoid a unionized property uh, in today's market, but it's something you might want to consider. The last thing you want to do if you find yourself in a strike situation is to find out what other space is available and could be used at a pinch if the venue that you've contracted with is unable to fulfill its obligations. If you find space, get on it quick, as other groups around the city are likely looking for the similar space. It's times like these where having a, a partner like Conference Direct becomes invaluable. We are able to source a lot of venues very quickly and find space that is available. I hope this helps and that you don't find yourself in a situation where a strike is imposed on the success of your event. We all want to ensure that employees are treated fairly and those delivering our conferences are treated with mutual respect from our delegates and their employers. It's unfortunate that employees seemingly need to strike in the hospitality industry. As always, if you'd like to talk about this topic, please reach out to Leanne and I, and while we don't offer legal advice, we can give you a first-hand account of what to expect behind the picket line. Thanks for watching. Look forward to speaking with you soon.